Okay, and welcome to Currencies Direct weekly podcast for Tuesday, the 4th of May. And no, we're not going to kickstart this week's podcast with the popular Star Trek meme floating around today. The only trick we are concerned about is the local units one, which saw the currency close last week 2% weaker against the US dollar. After having broken the 1415 to 1435 per dollar range, the Rand found itself opening the month just shy of 1450 against the US dollar. Spurred on by favorable sentiment and a rather dovish tone by Fed Chair Jerome Powell, the local unit reached 1415 against the US dollar last Thursday before closing Friday weaker. Despite the losses, the local unit was one of the strongest EM performers in the month of April. The new month does bring with it a host of new challenges though, made even clearer by data released by Bloomberg, showing that in at least seven of the last 10 years, EM stocks, currencies, and local bonds have all posted losses in the month of May. Not a very encouraging start to the new month. Locally, much focus will be on local shores with politics taking center stage. Reports have emerged this morning that President Ramaphosa got the necessary backing from the ANC's top officials to oust party Secretary General Ace Magashule. This after he ignored the ultimatum to vacate his position while he stands trial for corruption. Staying locally on the vaccine front, the country's first shipment of Pfizer vaccines landed Sunday night, ahead of the mid-May kickoff of South Africa's vaccination program. The timing of which could not be more crucial. With cases in India and Brazil climbing, markets are wary of a potential third wave that could just be around the corner for the rainbow nation. Elsewhere, global markets will be paying close attention to the UK and US this week with the Bank of England's interest rate decision and monetary policy update, and then to follow US non-farm payrolls out later this week. The latter of which is expected to gain more attention after Fed Chair Jerome Powell last week reiterated that interest rates would remain low until the bank achieved their long-term inflation goal and maximum employment. That's it for this week's edition. If you'd like to chat about any of your currency requirements, please get in touch with us on 021-418-0105 for Currencies Direct Weekly Podcast. My name is Justin Ludovic.